So hello everybody, welcome. We're going to be painting these little daffodil cards. Thank you very much for, for being here. I'm sorry that our tour is cut short and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry I can't make up the time for you today because it's not my fault and I've got work after. Uh, and I have to spend even more time sending Hey Go Bug reports for this because apparently I'm a beta tester now, um, out of nowhere. <laughs> uh thank you very much for being here let's start again hello everybody thank you very much for coming to my daffodil painting tour daffodils are my favorite flowers i hope you guys can hear me because there's no interaction since i've started speaking so i hope you can hear me some thumbs up would be cool if there aren't any thumbs up this is going to be pants yes thank you okay um right so i'm going to get some of my you know what i'm going to use some of my calligraphy brushes that i haven't used in quite a while uh because i'm going to paint these lovely little sumie paintings sumie is a type of sumi is the black ink in japanese but it also refers to all of these kinds of watercolor paints in a way um specifically the traditional traditional kind of ink but we're going to use paint and pen today to create little daffodils and if you've got paint and pen especially a watery paint and uh some postcards or something you can do the same with me daffodils are my favorite flowers so i'm actually not going to um look at pictures or anything i'm just going to use use my brain and see what i can come up with hi anna thank you very much for being here you guys so I'm going to use quite a lot of water and mix up some in some of this paint. This is a calligraphy brush, so it looks really fluffy. But as soon as I drip it in water, uh, stick it in water, it's going to go and change shape. So we can watch that happen together. Ta-da! It's going to become a pointed kind of shape. This, might, this one might be way too big. You can see yellow is my favorite color because it's the paint I've used the most. I've abused the yellow one, which means I probably have to go and invest in loads more yellows, but that's fine. You know how I feel about yellow. It's the best in the world. So that's why daffodils are my favorite too. And they usually have a lovely smell as well. But in Japan, where I live, you can only get, you can only get little baby daffodils, really. I just don't see the big ones. I'd buy them immediately if I saw big ones available. I wouldn't pick them though because you're not meant to pick public flowers. Hi Fiona. Brave of me to say whatever that word was for you guys. Sumie. Is that the word? Or the word I said in my head while thinking of other things? Right. This brush is a bit fluffy i don't know if it's going to work so well i'm going to see let's see i have to try and keep my hands clean so i don't make a mess of this i'm going to use the point of the brush to try and make some the point of the brush to try and make some nice shapes for for the daffodil i think i might hold it up a little bit like this so it might not work straight away because it's been a while also means that it looks like the brushes have got loads of dust in them which is something we can all learn together yeah this one's not going to be the brush for this so sometimes you just know straight away whether or not the brush is going to be right and this one is not going to be right this time sadly i might have to use the little baby ones but that's all right we can have an experiment nothing wrong with little experiment i'm going to reach for some kitchen roll over here um, and I'd just like to say that you guys, if you notice guides are having trouble with Hago, you can also report it yourself. You can take screenshots as evidence and you can um, report it on the report a bug section of the Hago website. If people don't do that, then Hago don't think there's anything wrong. They think the guide is just having a problem because their phones don't work, which isn't the case because it's worked before. Um, so please do help out if you feel like you're able to. Dragon stack, Heather, that's very, very lovely of you to leave a tip for me. Thank you. I'll love it if you put these on Etsy. I don't have to put these on Etsy because you're my sponsor. So you get one of these for free anyway. Any active sponsors can have these for free. 
if they would like. Well, not these as in all of them, but you can have one of them. If you'd like me to put more on Etsy, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna use a little brush now and see what that does, see if it changes it a little bit. Push down. You know what? If you don't use your brushes for ages, apparently they all get loads of dust in. So I should have cleaned them a little bit first. How are you guys? It's Saturday morning in Japan. So I expect it's a totally different time wherever you are. Some of you, it's been a while since I've seen you and some of you are new. I hope that you're, you're well, happy and well. So I'm gonna create little scenes like this, just do some petals on the outside. And I'm gonna change the orientation of some so that the flower looks like it has some perspective, some depth to it. And I'm gonna let them dry. While they dry, I can do some more and they'll keep drying, the process will keep happening. Then I'll add the green as well before adding um, the yellow, sorry, the orange to the middle of it. And then after I will add the, the pen. A lot of processes in painting don't all happen at the same time. So a lot of people that try to start painting but don't have any idea where to start, they try and paint all the colors all the time, all the times. But you kind of, you do have to, um, you do have to be a bit patient, I think. And that's why I like using watercolors because I'm not very patient. So watercolors dry fast, which suits me down to the ground. More Etsy, please. More Etsy will be coming this year with some really great news as well, actually. But the great news is secret so far. So you'll have to come to my one year celebration in nine days on Hago. And then I'll be releasing something very exciting. Um, a lot of you have been waiting a long time for such a thing. The daffodil flowers are beginning to appear where you are. That is super lovely. In Japan, actually, the daffodil, daffodils are winter flowers. So in the UK, they're the sign of winter leaving. But in Japan, they're, they're just full winter. So we've already had ours. You still see a few more around now. But they started blooming in December. which is mad because it is, it is very cold here. Too cold for me. I'm gonna let them dry all over the place in the background. So how are you all? Are you feeling well? Katie, nice to see you. This is a big old shadow from the phone. You know what? I'm going to have to turn the big light off. It's a bit of a pain in this apartment. Yes, I'll turn this big light off. Turn this big light off. Then you won't have a shadow. It's uh, The light just changes everywhere, to be honest. So welcome if you're just coming in. We've been having some technical troubles to entertain us and, well, borderline piss me off. And other than that, we're making these little petals to get them to dry before we add the middle parts. Most of the daffodils in Japan actually seem to be white. They do love things that are all pure and white. Because I'm painting this in an angle, I just tilt it upside down so that um, so that the paint doesn't all pool in one section. So I'm using the tip of the tip of the brush here to make the outline of the petal shape. I'll just give you a little reminder of what we're kind of working from. Hi, Consuelo. 
What are your favourite flowers, everybody? Do share. Me and Dragon Snack Heather share the same favourite flowers. We both love daffodils. It's just by chance. By chance that we discover that. We love the brightest of the sunniest flowers, I think. Oh my goodness. Um, 36 roses from an online company and they all died in two days. Um, Becky, were they a present from you? I think I know why they died in two days. I want to make a joke about it being because my little brother is horrible, but it's not true. That's awful. Um, I think it's because they keep them fresh by keeping them in a in a kind of fridge freezer like situation, and the the flowers can't cope with going from that coldness to suddenly going to inside someone's home. So, yeah, I hope you've complained, Becky, because it's not on really. Unless you're planning to make loads of potpourri for some kind of reason, then they're lucky they haven't affected you too much. But that's not on. Consuelo says he love they love daffodils. Ours are at coming, coming into bloom in California. Lovely. Hi, Sarah and Rebecca. Nice to see you. Yeah, he would be sad because it's a waste. It's a waste of everything involved, right? Even if you do get your refund, it's a waste of the efforts they went through um, to grow the flowers. And, you know, even down to like the delivery company um, shipping the flowers and, and everything and the open expectation. It's a total waste. Like, what's the point? They must get that all the time, but they don't care because they want the impact. They want the impact of the first first flowers seeming so amazing but it's a big con all right i'm gonna get one more on the go here hi diane nice to see you anybody else what are your favorite flowers do let me know we're going to add the leaves and the orange bits to the other ones in a second. And the act of Sumir, it happens very fast, actually, all of the different processes. And they even just happen just in, a black, in black paint so often. Technically, that's what it means, to be honest. Susai. Susai is the name in Japanese for... for watercolor paint and susen is the name for daffodil i guess because daffodils often grow near water we call them narciss narcissus or narcissi right is the latin name for them because they gaze upon their lovely reflections in the water right what i'm going to do is get a bit of orange now i'm going to use the same brush it seems to be doing the trick Mixed directly into the palette. There wasn't actually an orange here to start with, but I'm generating an orange. It sounds like I'm growing oranges. I'm going to... I think it's dry enough for me to pop it in the middle. Yeah. So, orange to the middle like that. I'll let that water run down that way. And I'm just going to add a little bit for the petals as well. None of these actions are essential, just what I'm doing for, for my style of this daffodil painting today. Roses, lovely, Danette. What type of roses are your favorite? Hi, Sue, and hi, Bruna. All right, thank you, Becky. Have a nice time, I mean, good night. <laughs> 
so when I do these little marks to the side, I'm going to do a slight little arc. If I get a little arc, then it shows that the petals are some kind of three dimension, makes them look a bit softer as well. I'm not going to put one here. Can I imagine you can't see the back of that one? But the little orange trumpet in the middle. And again, let it dry and then get ready for the next processes. They really do all come together at the end. I'm hoping you can really see that things look kind of rubbish until they look great. Like when you have a newborn baby and they look a bit like tiny aliens. I'm kidding, guys. Newborn babies are lovely. Night, night. You can say morning, morning in the morning. Pink and purple, red and yellow. Lovely, the net. All of these are dry yet, so have to go a bit careful. If they're not dry, then it's just going to bleed, blend into the rest of it. Have you got any nice plans for your days and nights this, this weekend, everybody? to go to work then I'm gonna have a kind of chilled weekend which doesn't happen so often but I do have one nice tour to present to you too for early birds in the UK it will, it will be just the one and actually the plum blossoms are coming into bloom so we should be finishing that lovely shrine tour with plum blossoms so if you can stay awake then you should one's running that's fine we'll make it seem like it was part of our plan any mistakes in painting just make it seem like it was part of your plan Oops, I did that the wrong way around. That's now it doesn't have the um the soft effect there. One second. If I dry the brush a bit, I might be able to remedy that. Let me see. Yeah, I can try and let it blend in a little bit. Slightly more orange petals on this one, but that's fine. Daffodils come in all shapes and sizes. Wait, are daffodils people? Maybe, maybe. One up here. Okay, I'm going to add the green stems to some of the other ones and I'll, I'll come back for orange middles or brave it I'm gonna brave it trumpets I don't know if that's the that's obviously not the technical term for the inside of a daffodil but it's what I'm calling it the trumpets okay then we're gonna go for some green I'm gonna go for light green in the background and then I'm going to go for a dark green in and about as well. I'm going to stick to the same brush. Start with light green, get lots of water in there. I'm repeating the processes until it all dries. Okay, so what I want to do is create some leaf shapes for these daffodils so i'm going to go up and then um i don't know it's like a musical note isn't it go up and some go down like this but i'm using i'm utilizing the shape of the brush but as you can see it has to happen pretty quickly 
Okay, I'm gonna add some green, dark green on after that, but for now I'll just go with the light green. You know what I might put? Some go up, don't they? It depends how the how the sunlight and water is affecting the leaves, I guess, as to whether or not they go up or down. These look like little families, I think, of daffodils. You guys are all being very quiet. You were falling asleep at the at the Hago steering wheel. Thanks, Ellie. Ellie popped me a little heart. Very relaxing. Oh, really? That's good. Um, I think so too. On account of all of those hey go problems, if I put it on my YouTube channel, I think I'll put it on as a speed speed run, speed up the video, I think, so that people don't fall asleep while watching the watching the daffodils. You can probably tell from the window light that it's very overcast today. <laughs> Hi Evie, nice to see you. I'm mesmerizing people apparently into quietness. I promise it really does come together at the end, a little reminder. Some people say, buy you yourself flowers. I say, draw yourself pictures of flowers. <laughs> Paint yourself pictures of flowers. Basically, if you want flowers, go and get them. You don't have to wait for other people to bring flowers into your life. You go and get them. Okay, go on to the dark one next. Windy with drizzle. Well, it looks like the same could happen here. Probably a little less wind, actually. I realise it's quite nice living um not right next to the sea like I used to. And I live quite far from the lake, so I don't experience the wind so often, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna go for dark greens now. Doesn't matter if it overlaps at all. You know what, that one's a bit strange. It's best if you can do everything in one stroke for the very nice Samir effect.
leaves are organic things so they're in all shapes I try to let myself off if I get a shape I wasn't hoping for so it doesn't matter too much thickness of the card is not very much actually 80 or wait maybe 120 so for me that's not very much it's got a light cartridge effect on it but yeah I think it's 180 uh, sorry 120 it's not very much GSM the weight of the card so it's not going to bubble like crazy which is good uh, also I'm not I'm not heaping loads of um, loads of paint onto the page. It's just a little here and there. So yeah, it doesn't bubble up much. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lucky daffodils being created at the same time. I love this little. This is very reminiscent of proper smear paintings where it fades off in that way. Generally, you don't top up the paint very much on the, on the brush. You just let it be very, very full and flow all over the page using actually a totally different paper that would bubble a lot, but it's part, part of the process. And these are Japanese watercolours that I'm using. They're actually much brighter than watercolours I usually would use in the UK. And in the UK I mix up all of my own colours from primary colours. hot press paper yes I think so because it's not special watercolor paper it is just um, it's just pretty cheap it comes in a set of 20 and it only costs 100 yen 100 yen from the dollar store effectively pound shop but it's cheaper than a pound um, so yes it's not it's not anything particularly special. I've got more special paper here. These are, I think these are all hot press. But this one's got a little rounded edge, which I think looks quite nice. These ones are great for drawing and painting. And then I've got some more here. But they're all from sort of different sets of things I was making for sponsors, because my sponsors get to have one of these cards if they would like. Um, but yes, it's not from like a very expensive watercolour pad. Some of the other pieces that I've got here were 300 yen or 400 yen for the same amount in a set. And they feel totally different. It depends which ones I bought for those. And you can use any paintbrush, by the way. You don't have to use a calligraphy paintbrush for these. It's, it, you can do it almost just as well with a normal normal paintbrush 
I believe. I have done it many times. But yes, I would say if you get any of your brushes and they've been upside down with the dust getting into them for a long time, probably fluff all of the dust out of it. The same goes for if you leave the lid off of your watercolour, um, all of the dust and fluff from your house can get into that. Oh, the light has just gone so dark, hasn't it? It's really overcast suddenly. Thank you. Fiona says they're coming together beautifully. Oh no, is that? Oh yes, Fiona said that. Okay, these are a little bit, a little bit wet. You know what, I think I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use a normal brush just to stop this from where it's been pooling. It's gonna go into a two-tone thing there, that's fine. I'm gonna help it along. Sometimes it, the paint will pool in different directions and create unusual tones. Thanks everybody. Um, I'm looking for the driest one. This one looks like the driest one to get started on us adding some of the pen. I'm going to use my a standard brush pen. You can get these anywhere. I'm using one by the brand called Etcher. But the most important thing is that it's um, water and fade proof. So it's pigment ink fine liner. must be some name for the technique of trying to paint with dust. <laughs> oh, MC says yours looks so much better than mine. I won't have any of it, MC. That does not matter one bit. Not one bit. Um, well, I would actually like to do... You know what? I'm going to cheat. Well, it's my own art. There's no such thing as cheating in my own art. I'm going to use a felt pen to do a little selection of lines here on one side of the trumpet. Do you see this? MC, I'd love it if you shared pictures of yours on online. Thank you, Mummy and Fiona. Oh, by the way, Mummy, Fiona here is the lady that sent you the um, Pokemon cards and the Hago hat that you've been showing off everywhere. So just in case you guys hadn't registered each other before. So just doing a little, little wiggle, a little wiggle and a wiggle and a t -t 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 for the outside edge of the trumpets here, calling them trumpets, the inside. I'm using felt pen because <clears throat> when you're making your own art, there are no rules. Picasso said something like, <clears throat> learn the rules like an artist, break them like a pro, or maybe it was the other way around, but either way, sentiment still stands, I say. Learn the rules like a pro, break them like an artist. I don't know. I forgot the inside trumpet of this one, but it still looks nice. Oh, yeah, it can get a headache quite easily, right? Who wants to paint Miffy? I'm going to do a Miffy painting class soon. Okay. That's done. You could add more detail to the leaves in green. Any kind of felt tip pen would work, no problem. Right, now we have to be brave with the next motions. You have to do them pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to use this sample one that I didn't do so well to show you. Try and work with the tip of your pen and work quite quickly. You know what? Maybe that one isn't that one isn't very strong. I want one that's got more oomph actually. Let me see. Well I don't know. What do you think? Delicate or delicate or thick? Try some different ones too. Interesting, actual calligraphy one. It's not gonna... 
I don't know. The first one's actually got the nicest quality. Bit cold for the t-shirt. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Wen. Nice to see you. Nice to see you joining us. Testing some of my brush pens. You know what? They could all be different types. I'm going to go with the first one I used. So it's up to you to start kind of light, press down a little bit, and then get your point in there. But you choose if it's all wiggly and free, you know? You choose how wiggly it is, how free it is. But it should add lots of nice details to these. Okay, we're gonna get stuck in. I'm gonna start with my wiggle wiggle trumpets. Trumpets first. Okay, already much, much better, right? Be brave, be quick, don't worry too much. There'll be muddy paws all over it. That's true, that's true. Hi, Violetta, nice to see you. Okay, we don't have to add every little detail for the leaves. Just some is fine. Okay. It comes together quite nicely, I think. It's a little, little mistake that happened up in that one. Down here it went way too green. You know what, I think I can make up a bit of that green. Fill it in just a little bit. You can still touch it up after. Okay, go put your little signature on it after too or your Hanko stamp, if you've got a little red stamp like I do, or a little bit of red ink. You could even just put your fingerprint in red, that might look quite cool. I guess I did my daffodils all in the same way, like they're all looking out towards the sun. I think it's quite um, sweet actually. When I was younger, I remember my mum used to watch Bob Ross, the watercolor painter on TV. And it was really relaxing and also I thought a bit strange, like why is she just watching painting on TV? Is that how people learn how to paint? It's not how I learned to paint, I think I just was 
painting stuff until I until I could. Um, and now my mummy's watching me on Hey Go. That's pretty sweet, I think. Good idea. If any of them don't look sufficiently convincing, we say they're shield bugs sheltering the flowers. Exactly, Gregory. Exactly. Are you trying to allude that some of my daffodil pictures don't look very convincing, by the way? Can you hear the concentration? Got rhythm now. Do you see that? Managed to do the whole petal in almost one swoop. Takes It just goes to show, even those that know what they're doing, all takes practice. All takes practice. Hi, Julie. So I'm imagining the direction that the petals are facing if there's sunshine. So that means that they're not all uh, in the same angle. There is a hint of perspective and the hint is all you need because our eyes do the rest. Thank you. Julie says they're so beautiful and the flowers are so well drawn. That's very kind of you to say. So I have to get ready to say goodbye about now. I've got to get myself ready to go to work for the for the whole day. So I hope you've all had a lovely time. I'll get you a little shot of all of the daffodils together. And on the Hago Voyages, I'll put a picture up with them or with their stamps on them. Their stamps are my my Hancock stamps, so they'll have a little red stamp in the bottom. I might do one live as I say goodbye to you guys. I'll pop them all together in a pile first though. I do hope you'll check out some of my other tours. Got a very special one tomorrow. So I'd love to show you guys that one in particular. Here's a look at my paints but I'm afraid they're all in Japanese. Two, four, Oh, we've got, oh, we've got eight if we see my original one. Oops, Ooh, up you go. Oh, 
all these little daffodils do check out linktr.ee forward slash miss kendall james and you can see other things that i make there Oh, sorry, you've got a buffering wheel. Mine is fine, yeah. Mine too. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Lisa said it's very relaxing and helpful. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Now, my original daffodil from two years ago doesn't have a handcuff stamp, but I'm going to put a little alpaca one. This is a little stamp I carved. Normally I put my name, but I'm going to put the little alpaca here. I don't know if it's going to come out very well. Do, 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 do. Press down. There we go. Okay. Nothing like a little alpaca down at the bottom. Maybe I can get them all done. And then I can pop a little date on it too. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I think you can still hear me. Oh, lovely. Julie bought her son a book on Japanese art and she's sure he'll love it. I hope so. You can do any flowers and things in the same way, guys. So don't be afraid to give it a go with lots of different different types of flowers or anything. You got a pet, do it with your pet. Paint a kind of block colour first with some watercolour and then, then add details. The stamp really does add something, doesn't it? it? Really does add something. I did it a bit unceremoniously. Usually I'll put a bit more heart into that, I think. But there is no time. So I thank you very kindly. Thank you to those three of you that left tips. That's very kind. Dragon Snack Heather, Fiona and my mummy. If anybody else would like to leave a tip, it is greatly appreciated. Especially as it's just a small group, it's obviously harder to make up the tips with a with a small group. But still, thank you very much for 20 or 30 of you coming. I'm glad you did. And I hope you enjoy the flowers. That's all right. Thank you, lovelies. And if you're my active sponsor, which might just be my mummy in the room right now, active one, and Gregory. Gregory doesn't, Gregory doesn't get these. He hasn't sent me his address. That's fine. Don't want me just turning up at his house. And you guys can get one. All right, you can become a sponsor at any point, by the way, and you get lots of other things too. So do consider it. And I get 75% of your tip if you, of your sponsorship, if you do that. Thank you so much, Jan. You are lovely. Catch you guys later. <laughs> I'm going to put you back in there. All right. Bye, lovelies.